Hey everyone, you're with Tesla Tom. Thanks so much for joining us on Ludicrous Feed. I'm with my friend Alan here. Hey Alan. Hey, how's it going? Very well, thanks. We're here at the St. Leonard's Supercharger. We're going to do a little experiment because it's well known that if you're charging at a supercharger stall and you're, for example, in a, one of two like paired stalls, if another car comes to charge at the other, you know, other stall of paired stalls, then that could reduce your charging rate. So we're going to do the experiment right now and see whether Alan's charging rate reduces when I park our Model 3 next to his. Ready to go? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's do it. Okay, so what I mean by this is, for example, my car is now parked at stall 2A. I'm just going to pan across here. And Alan's car is parked on 2B. So, Alan, let's, uh, let's start charging your car. All right, so Alan's going to start charging his car now. So Alan's going to plug it in. There we go, it's going green, so let's go into the car. Okay, so it's sort of topped off at 88, 89 kilowatt, maybe 90, 90 kilowatts for the moment, so... Okay, I'm going to start charging my car now. Let's unhook and plug in. All right. Let's go back to Alan's car now. So naturally the numbers will go down anyway because his car is starting to top. But let's see whether they dramatically fall once my car starts initializing. Alright, so this is my car uh, going at 23 kilowatts. I mean it's already 70% so that's why it's a bit slower. Um, let's look at Alan's car. Yeah, 75. That's interesting, isn't it? So it hasn't really gone down that much. Alright, so uh, my car's now 72%. It's still st stuck at 22 kilowatts. Uh, Alan's car, on the other hand, is going at uh, at 61 kilowatts. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 61, yeah, so it's going at 61 kilowatts, 67%. So yeah, it's interesting. I mean, his rate has dropped, but um, I wonder whether it's taking priority because he was here first. Very interesting. That's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> so that's very interesting. So my charging rate has suddenly uh, jumped up to 46 uh, at the 72% mark. All of a sudden. Let's go back to Alan's car. Yeah. What's Alan's car doing? Alan's car is now 50... 58 at 68 percent. Dropped a little bit again, but again I don't know whether it's because it's just naturally dropped because his battery is starting to top up, or whether it's because it's been affected by my car. Alright, so Alan's car now uh, at 72 percent mark is 52 kilowatts, and it's actually quite comparable to my car, which is at 74 percent, so pretty similar battery state of charge. It's at 44 kilowatts, so you can argue they've almost, you know, almost equalized. So what we're going to do now is unplug my car and see whether that makes a difference or not. Okay, so we're going to unplug my car. Alright, so I've unplugged my car now. We're going to see whether that has made a difference to Alan's charge rate. It might take a little while to rise, if it does at all. So 48 kilowatts when we unplugged it. Oh, well, that that might be it actually. He's um, his car is uh, now 42 kilowatts, 43 kilowatts at 75 percent. Doesn't look like it's going to go up anytime soon. So yeah, that's a good experiment. I think that might be it. All right, Alan, that was an interesting experiment. Um, so it looked like your car was here first, obviously, and we got to a pretty good rate of charge. And then I came along, uh, but when I plugged in, the rate was low for me to start with. Your car kind of held its charge. Yeah, it was like 22 years uh, until mine got near 70%. Mm. And then then the things started to kind of mm. even. It did. Yeah, it looked like both cars were trying to equalize together. We yeah. got to about 70 odd percent and they did almost get match in, in charge rate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then when I unplugged my car, um, I mean, your car was already quite high, 74, 75%. So it didn't really affect it too much. Yeah, it kind of kept going the same way. It was interesting that it went down a little, like really quickly. Mm. It went down to and like when I 20, my car? 
Yeah, and yeah. then back up to yeah. like 60, 60 something. Yeah. It yeah. almost looked like the car was trying to work out like the quick suddenly drop yeah, in the amperage. Like how much do I have now? Yeah. And and then, okay, yeah. I'll, I'll stay the same. Yeah. <laughs> so smart, these cars. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, well, that's our little experiment. Um, we tried to keep it as scientific as possible, but you know, we might come back next time with both cars at a very low state of charge to start with, and then we'll do that again to see who gets priority between you know, between a performance or a standard range plus or if there is a difference at all. Yeah, and, and if there's any difference like uh, swapping who got here first and, and see if there's yeah. any effect with that. Yeah, cool. All right, Alan, well, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, thank you. Thanks uh, for having me. Yeah, awesome. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, happy charging. <laughs>